with Sara and I've been doing some beading and I think I'm going to do a little tutorial on how I put these together. Um, they're a little bit different because I'm using the, um, the wire uh, strands. I use the 19 strand Beadalon uh, wire and that works for me. I've been, I haven't used it in a long, long time so today I was playing again but it comes back to you pretty fast. I used to make bracelets all the time. Like I have, I did bring some down to show. Um, anyway, um, I'm not sure that I've seen that many tutorials on how to use this wire. So that's why I thought I would do it. Like I had, I had done these um, watches and it's done with the wire and crimp beads. So I'm going to show you how I do that. They're, you know, they're loose. It's not stiff wire, and there's just a crimp bead there that you loop back through and crimp it down, and that holds the wire secure. So I'm going to show that. Um, making these little keychains, I actually was at Michael's last week, I think. I went back today because I was looking for a few extra things, and they had these huge beads. These are the skull beads, and you know I've been playing with my skull beads. I made these last Halloween. These were um, some stick pins I made with the little skull beads, but then I found these which is like a more medium size um, And then they they even go down to the tiniest little ones, which I had made um, some just little uh, I Guess they're dangles bead dangles. These are the medium still anyway I don't know how I'm gonna film this because they're not um, Flat and they kind of roll around, but I'm gonna probably just set the uh camera to the side and try it but this was what I'm gonna do um, all right it's a keychain basically right I have picked the beads I like kind of arrange them and then you thread the wire through and using the crimp bead you loop it through and then you crimp it down and that'll hold it and these are tight like I used to make these are um, like to hang in your wind oops that actually did just come off hi Kirby won't use that then and, uh, but these, I made sure I really crimped them down tight. You kind of got to give them a tug when you're done to make sure that they are going to be secure. So I did, this is my fave. I love this one. Um, but I've been playing with all the different colors because these come in, I think, a set of five. So I got five colors. So then this one I used, like, a, I put a little collar on them, which I like that. Um, this one I didn't put the collar. I just went with the reds. And this is just beads from my stash. I just pulled what I liked put the little, I do like the little crown piece, that um, bead cap, the big bead cap. I put, I did one, oh, it's up here, because I stickled his eyes. I don't know if, oh, I'll get it in a minute. I don't know if it's dry yet, but um, I put the like, black, what's it called? Diamond, black diamond stickles in his eyes, because they kind of look kind of plain, so I'm figuring out what I want to do. I think I did um, Wink of Stella in these eyes, just to make them sparkly, because they're kind of dull. I could even put like a uh, some type of bling, but this kind of oh that feels pretty dry. So maybe I'll I'll keep playing with this. But this was the yellow one, and I just love these glass beads. I think I got these at Hobby Lobby on clearance, and just you know they're perfect for this type of thing because it's just one bead, an accent bead. So um, that is what I'm doing, and I figured I'm gonna have these at my craft show to sell. I absolutely love this green one. I got to make some exactly like that. And this one I put my little handmade with love and the, um, the locket and the key on the top and just a cross on the bottom. This one, the teal one I put, this is uh, like a, what are these called? Um, a rondelle. I went back to AC Moore to get like the 10 millimeter ones and they were out of, they didn't have any of the bracelets with the 10 millimeters so I got these packs of 12 millimeter ones and they had these colored ones which were pretty cool so I figured I'd try that but I just you just have to use a bigger bead with it so it's a little bit bigger but he turned out cool and I put a heart on the bottom of that one I hope this looks okay I'll, I'll have a look at it before I post it but this is what I'm gonna do I'm gonna show you how I do it and I'm it may be a little fumbly let's see how it goes Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. I've already arranged what I'm going to put together. I'm going to zoom in a tiny bit, turn the light. That's just my hook thing, my hanger. All right, so I'm going to pull this wire out. Now this is the wire. I only cut about a six inch piece of this 19 strand 
beetle on wire I like the 19 strand it's a pretty good so that means there's like 19 little tiny strands of wire in here I don't know how they do it but and then it's covered in like a wax or a plastic coating so I cut a little six inch piece of that and the first part I like to do is the top um, I don't know why I just liked because I like mine tight I've seen other tutorials like I like my bracelets tight and when I use a crimp bead I like to kind of hide the crimp bead as well so I'll show you what I mean so the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna st strings I just got some beads that I like put them together and this is what I do I get a little um, my hands in the way just like a ball bead a silver ball then I'm gonna take a crimp bead and I like the crimp tubes I bought some today these are I'm not using the ones I bought these are called crimp tubes these are by Beadalon. these are number twos and I like they have to be small enough that when you crimp them it makes it really tight this is a two millimeter crimp bead so this even calls it something different and I think that hole is bigger than this hole so I'm gonna see what happens when I play with them but these were the ones I had and I got these online and they it was a years ago and I don't remember what they are but I'm using them today because I know that they work then I go crimp bead so the first thing I do is a silver ball it's actually not silver but it's silver tone silver ball and then silver ball crimp bead and then a, then I start beading so I put a spacer bead and my glass bead and then the rondelle now that's all you really need to start with and you can start to re-thread this through I'm gonna take the rondelle off because it's like kind of falling off but oh and you always I what I do is I put a split ring at the ends because a split I feel like a jump ring could come loose a jump ring could come apart and come off but a split ring is this basically it's like a key ring it's doubled so you always have that extra um, safety precaution there for to make it double you know it's double strong so I put my um, split ring on the end and then you go back through all the beads on the wire so I'm already through there it is and I'm just gonna hold the beads and kind of pull the long end till it's tight I like it tight and then I also kind of pull this around to the part where the split is to make it straight then you take this tool which is called a crimping tool and I've had this forever um, and there's little sections on here the first the one closest to the back has the section that I'm going to use first and then I'm going to use the section in the front but I'm going to use the section I'm not on camera the section in the back first and that kind of crimps it down and makes it into like a C it makes it into this shape so it goes from a circle then you dent it in and it makes it into a C I don't know if I'm I'm gonna have to look at this and see so anyway so now I'm in the C then I take the front of the crimping tool and I completely flatten it down so I made it from a circle to a C to a like smashed in circle now it's like this so that is holding that wire so tight I can really give that a tug and it's not going anywhere so this is all sealed now I can start to bead completely be the uh, my keychain put my keychain oops wait a minute first of all let's get it together here Sarah all right so that then um, see I lost <clears throat> what I was doing I know this goes next no no the rondelle thank you the rondelle then this so this is going to represent his little crown and just make sure that extra bit of wire that is still there's two strands of wire for a little bit actually I'm gonna cut it I'm gonna cut it so that it doesn't get interfere or bent there's just this little extra wire that doubled back there I just like to kind of cut it so I know it's not gonna stick out and look weird keep keep stringing your beads so now he's got his little crown on this one looks a little bent actually no, that looks good all right and then I'm giving him am I doing the collar for him see it all kind of came apart while I did it I think I had this this bead cap and then I did this and I think 
I put a flower down the bottom, then another crimp bead, and then a little circle bead again. So that's my completed beading, and I'm gonna put my split ring and then double back in. So my split ring's kind of in the loop, and then you have to double back up through the beads. It's a little, um, you know, daunting on camera here, but I got it. I'm going to go up through this spacer here, and then I'm going to get that second piece of wire. I'll show you. Okay, I'm going to grab it with my pliers and kind of pull it through. I want to make sure this is tight. That's my my little secret, you guys. You want to make sure everything's nice and tight. So keep kind of fudging with it, pulling it through. Hopefully, okay, it's a little wonky, but I think I'm nice and tight, and that's what I want. Because I, I want, you want a little movement, but you don't want it all loose and, and falling apart looking. So that's my extra wire. I'm just going to hold that while I crimp. Go into that bottom section first, crimp down, and I've made it into... A C. Yeah, you can see that pretty good. Then I take the top part of the crimping tool and fold it over. And sometimes you miss it. You got to go back in again and hold it. I got to look. I got to go off camera or whatever. And now it's like so. I went from a circle to a, a half circle to a crimp. All right. And then I give it a little tug to make sure it's tight. And it's tight. And so I'm done. I'm done beading, but I got to cut off this little extra wire. And what I like to just go as close to the center as you can to get that off. So that's the main part of my um, charm. I'm going to show you now. I have this little tool, which is so cool. It's a split ring opener thing, all right? So I have these kind of split rings. I have some colors, but I think I'm just going to use a silver one for this. And you simply take this split ring opener and go in between and it opens the split ring. See that? So now I can take this little split ring, thread it on to that, and that makes the top of the key ring. And then for the bottom of this one, I think I want to put, um, I guess I've been putting crosses on most of them, but this one's pink and flowery, and I kind of want to put a flower. Did I take any flowers out? I thought I did. I probably, you know, like I have this one little charm. This is a, a I could put that. I think I'm going to put that one. So for that, I just use a regular jump ring. These are jump rings. So you just take your two tweezers, your pliers, I'm sorry, this is a needle nose. And then I have the flat nose. And you go apart from each other, like that. And then you put it on the charm, put it on this other split ring, and then go back to each other. So you don't pull apart. And that's it. So that makes a keychain. I'm not sure if I love that charm, but for tutorial purposes, I like it. I'm going to move this back now and see if I can hold it up. So, but I can really tug on that and get and know that it's not going anywhere. I don't really love that um, charm on there. So I've just gathered, I'm just showing you now what I have. I have some charms. These are just some nice big, oh dear God, <laughs> I have some charms, some nice big uh, spacer beads. These are like flat little kind of iridized silver rondelli looking beads because I like them for the neck. This is a flower spacer bead. These are um, filigree spacer beads. Um, and then these are the little uh, silver balls. I have really tiny little ones, and then I have like a medium size and even a little bigger. Those are the main like metal pieces that you need, and then just pretty beads. And I just went and pulled some 
just more like focal beads for this so like I really love these these were the glass ones I got um, on Clarence at Hobby Lobby just th these actually came with um, the ones I did the turquoise one with this they came on this strand because I cut this apart I'll cut it apart and I use all the different beads like for this one I'm gonna do a keychain with the smaller version and I'm gonna make I'm gonna put these wings on it which I think these wings were from Art I cake piece or something that I wasn't crazy about the the glitter how it but I think I might just put more stickles on there and glitter it up more so um, I hope you like this I hope I helped I don't know what this looks like I'm gonna go look and if it's terrible I'll do it again all right you guys thanks for watching okay I'm back I just want to do it again I don't know what that other bit of tape looks like um, I might move the camera now because then it um, cast a shadow. So I just kind of put this one together. It's definitely smaller. You can see the, the gauge of this bead compared to that bead. But I figured I could still, I could just make it longer maybe, adding a few more beads. So I'm going to put this together for you too. So the first thing I want to do is get that crimp bead nice and tight, the top one. So I'm going to put uh, just a few beads on top. I'm just stringing beads. I know my hand's in the way. I'll show you what I'm with the important part in a minute. All right, so the crimp bead, and then I always use a silver ball, little silver ball, and I don't mean sterling silver. I don't know that these are sterling silver. They're usually just metal. I don't know what they are, and I've had these all mixed in, all different kinds of beads, so I can't promise what they are, but so as you, let, let, have a look at that. You got your crimp bead, uh, a baguette, crystal, a rondelle, and then this little spacer, or it's a bead cap actually, that kind of looks like a hat or a crown. I like to put that on. Then I'm going to put the little silver bead to cap it off. Kind of hides the spacer bead, I mean the um, crimp bead in between so it doesn't look as, I don't know. And then I always put uh, a split ring at the end. So I'm putting the split ring on, but now I'm looping back through. So the split ring's hanging on the end. And then you go back through all these beads. Well, not all of them. I usually, in the beginning, I'll go through three or four. I'll show you what I do. So let me get through here. All right, so I'm through those. And really, that's all I need. So I'm going to take them off for now. So look, that's how far through I am. I pull tight. I like to get my little split ring be a split ring kind of at an angle where it doesn't like flip out like see how it goes to the side. You can kind of get it to where it won't do that. And I like to do that. And then I just hold it tight and I'm gonna crimp this. This is the easy part. This end is the easy part because I don't have to worry about everything being tight, tight, tight right now. So the first part I do with the back end of the um Okay, so my battery just died, but I have that. The first part you do is this part of the, um, and my husband's coming home, so he'll probably yell down here. And you make the circle, the bead, the tube. I use the crimp tubes into a, like, C. I can't kind of do it with my hand. And that's the first step. And then I take the second part of the tool, the top, and I actually crush it down even more. And, oh, good, his phone's ringing, so he'll talk. Okay, so then you, you get it into this. It's actually like a crushed tube. And that is tight. It's holding this wire back on itself. So now I can finish beading. Um, let me make sure what I'm doing. The rondelle goes next. Then this little cap here. Oh, no, no, no. First, yes, that's right. Now, you just want to make sure that both pieces go through there. All right, both pieces of the, of the wire went through. Now I put my bead, my little skull bead, and I'm going to make sure both of those little wires go in the hole. Because if not, that little end part will stick out and it will, won't, look, won't look nice. So I put a little neck on my um, skulls with this little bead. And then I put these wings. I'm going to do... Uh, so a bead cap on top of this pink one, then the flower, 
Then another, um, this is, see, it's a tube. It's flat, and it's like, I don't know, these are ones that I already had. I did buy some today, but I'm using the ones I already had. And then I'm going to put, like, I like to use, like, a medium circle. Um, I mean, not circle. What do I mean? Uh, if I can't find one, like, right here. Here it is. Because, just because on the bottom, you can see the difference in the size of these two round beads. One's teeny tiny. That's the size I used for the top. See, now look what's happened. This wire escaped from my top here. See how it's sticking out? You don't want that to happen. You got to make sure and tuck that back in through and make sure it stays or else it will look terrible. All right, so now I'm going to put that bigger silver bead. I'm going to put my split ring because that's where I hang my charm from and just loop that. Oops. Loop the wire around the split ring and go back through my beads. And this is the trickier part because you have to hold it in such a way that you can make sure everything's tight. So it's just a lot of playing and hit and miss and you'll get it. And um, I just like doing it this way because it looks so much neater. I don't, sometimes I don't like when bracelets are made. And the crimp bead is just like a big loop. It's a, <clears throat> a hooked onto a loop at the end, like a wire loop. I don't like that myself. Personally, I like it this way. So I'm going to show you what we end up with at the end. So here I'm through. I've come through. I'm going to make sure my wire is not through on the top. And just tighten it, tighten it, tighten it. Keep pulling down until you're tight. And I can even lay it down. Sometimes I use my needle nose to hold it and make sure that's tight. I don't like to have a lot of play. Okay, that's nice and tight. I'm going to take my crimp tool and go to the back section and crimp that into a C. Then do the front section and crimp it all the way and smash it down. So it's like, you can't even notice it. It's so smashed down. See, it's just like a little line of silver. And then I cut this piece. My cutters are so dull because I've been cutting the backs of my buttons off. But you find that, and I cut it as close to the middle as you can. See, it won't even cut. It's so dull. <clears throat> and that's it. So that's another charm. So I'll show you how I, I think, um, let's see, we're at four minutes, good. So I have, do I have a pink? I don't have a pink one. I got these a while ago. I have green, purple, red, and teal, turquoise -y. But I don't have pink, but I'm going to do this in silver then. So all I do is I take this split ring and the split ring tool and go like that, and it opens it. And then you can take your other split ring and just string it right on. So now you have your your um, your keychain. And then for this, I'm gonna put I'm just gonna put this like key on the bottom. I think no, I don't like that. Um, how about just this bling thing? I think I'm gonna get some more charms, and I'm gonna uh, change these. You can always change it, and I don't even need to put one on right now, but I just am. Um, I use. To attach, this is too big, to attach my um, charms, I just use a, a jump ring. I have these little containers with my jump rings in it. Um, because, I mean, this this is so sturdy now. Like, it, you can really tug on that. And it's not going to come apart. But the charm can just hang off of a... Um, this is just uh, called a jump ring, and you just open it like this. You just push it away. Look, you go like this. So it opens sideways. You can't even, I'm terrible. This beading is maybe not my thing to do a tutorial for. And you just hook it onto that split ring at the bottom. I like to put my little, um, this one, on the first one I did, I put my made with love lock, heart lock, and a little key that goes with it. I love that. So that's another option. So let me put my camera back in a position of, so I can show this to you. I mean, they're basically about the same size, but this is much heavier because this bead is just heavy. But it's still a cute little keychain. 
I like that. All right, so that's, I just wanted to see, I'm gonna go look at these now and see if they're worth posting. And as always, you guys, thanks for watching.